hello friends welcome back to my channel my name is desire george so that will be teaching you how to make your own tom brown at home so let's dive into production proper i'll start by introducing the different series to you for you to understand this is my millet i'll be picking out every depth in it to make sure the millet is clean before I transfer it into my washing bowl. The next is my guinea corn. I'll pick out every dirt in it, clean it very well before I now transfer it into my washing bowl. You can see there is difference between millet and guinea corn. The millet is small in size. So I'll mix them together the next is my corn i actually did one cup of the corn clean please in tom brown you must make sure you remove all that in and to make sure the series are clean to avoid bacteria in the future to avoid things that will cause sickness to our body i'll be washing the maize separately as you can see i'm putting it in a different bowl just to wash it separately from the millet and the guinea corn so the next is my soybeans i'll be picking it the same thing i did in the other ones i'll be doing it the same here So I'll make sure I put it also in a separate bowl. I won't be mixing my soya beans to my corn. So the next is my peanuts. I'll be doing the same process again with the peanut by picking out the dirt in it. These soya beans actually have different method in production different way of doing it but this is my own way the next is to wash everything i'll be repeating the washing process in all the series before i dry it in the oven so i'm preparing to dry in the oven the next is my corn I'll repeat the same process with the peanuts but when it comes to my soya beans I'll be soaking for six hours before I dry normally I soaked for 24 hours but because of this video i'll be soaking for six hours before i dry so i add salt to my peanut so that to have sweet taste we're washing the soya beans now please as you can see i'm washing it taking my time to wash now i want to soak the soya beans soaking it for six hours drying all series in the oven the next is my plantain this if you don't have plantain don't worry don't bother yourself is optional but because of the video i'll be eating it with my family that is why i'm adding plantain to it so I said Sombra has six process, six steps in the production. The first step is to pick out every depth. The second step is to wash. The third step is to dry. If you don't have oven, you can dry it under the sun. But make sure every series are dried up very well. The fourth step is to fry. The fifth 
is to grind. If you don't have a good blender, you can take it to the commercial grinder to grind. The sixth one, which is the last, is the storage process. Very important. You have to store it. This is what I got. This is the next day. I've dried all my series, my plantain, everything. Everything is dried up. Okay, please attend our program that is coming up on the 23 to 27. Thank you. So I'll be frying everything in badges. So this is my peanuts. Next is my millet, my corn, and my guinea corn. I mix all together. And I'll allow it to cool down. And I'll be frying the last one. It's better you allow it to cool down before you put it in a container. So I'll be frying the next one. Please, if you have watched to this point, thank you. Why not subscribe to my channel? Share, comment, turn off the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. So I'll be frying my soya beans. If you want to know if your soya beans is ready is by peeling it. So as you can see, I'm prepared set to take it to the commercial grinder. Wow. This is what I got. You can actually start this as a business. You can sell it to people that has children from 8 months to 1 year and above. Adults also take it. If you want to learn this, this is my pap powder. Please comment in the comment section. Bye-bye. Love you. Thank